Hey everyone, it is Thursday, April 14th. The time right now is 10.30 a.m. And I'm here at Union Station in downtown Toronto. That was the Line 1 subway train that just pulled in. And for this one, I'm going to head over to the GO train platforms and try to find my way onto a train that's heading to Clarkson. And Clarkson is located in the city of Mississauga. And you can grab a GO train or a GO bus here, a VIA train or the Up Express to Toronto Pearson Airport. I have not taken the GO train since they so-called completed the renovations here. So it says York GO Concourse GO Right. I think the Bay GO Concourse is straight ahead. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. I intentionally did zero homework before this. Except checking the time of the train, which I think departs at 10.47. I think it runs every 30 minutes at this time of day. So I've got 15 minutes to find my way up to the platform. There are two platforms here, primarily the or two areas of the station where you board a GO train. There's the Bay Concourse along Bay Street here and the York Concourse, which is on the west side. I don't see much in the way of signs that tell me where my Lakeshore West Line train will be. Although I'm guessing it would be on the York Concourse as it's a westbound train. And that is the western side of the station. But I should be able to get there from here. There's some Presto machines. So in that direction is Scotiabank Arena. And you can head to the GO bus terminals. And platforms 20 and 21 are just to the right. There you can head up to 12 and 13. There's my train there. It says 1045 Lakeshore West. There is no platform. That'll lead you up to eight and nine. So I could head up there to Front Street. And I guess all we can do is wait until the platform is announced. Well, that didn't take very long. It says Lakeshore West, platform five and six. And this looks like it'll be heading up to five. Fair paid zone, fares inspected beyond this point. I'm a total noob here.
So I've got to tap my Presto card. Paid 370. I guess that's the minimum fee, and the further you go, the more expensive it'll get. So that would take me up to four and five. That says my platform is five and six. I'm wondering, since I have a bit of time. So they only sell like their baked goods at the St. Martins, but there is a food court on the other top. There are stairs up to six, but I can't seem to locate them. There's a food court in Union Station over by the York Concourse. I hear a train rolling in. That might be the one I need to take. There we go. Exhibition, Demico, Long Branch, Port Credit, Clarkson, which is my stop, Oakville, Bronte, Appleby, Burlington, Aldershot, and West Harbor. And then from there, if you want to go to Niagara Falls, I think you'd have to take a, take a go bus. So this looks like one of the newer, more cramped trains on the left. We've got these dividers here between the seats. Let's check out that other train car and see how it's any different. I've at least heard they're a lot more cramped than these older cars. There's a washroom. It's easy to take your bike on these trains. So apparently this can get uncomfortably close if you're sitting next to strangers. set up camp here and just record the ride looking out of the window. Like I said, I'm heading to Mississauga to Clarkson Go Station where you could connect to a number of different Mississauga bus routes and three different Oakville routes. It is knee deep in suburbia. It is one of those stations with a massive parking lot. All right, thanks for watching this first leg of the journey and I'll resume recording once the train starts moving.
All right, so the conductor just gave his final call for boarding. The doors are closed. And we should be rolling out in a second. I just noticed there are power outlets here. Please stay for the doors on platform six. Doors not closing. So it's quite comfortable. And it looks like there's just a few other people on this train car, at least on this level. And I think this ride will come to around $9 or so. We'll find out when I tap off. much of a view from up here, we're just kind of looking straight at that beam. There's a whole bunch of glare bouncing off of it. Once we leave this covered area, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, I've thrown the wide angle lens on the camera for this one. A week ago, I jumped on the Up Express and I headed to Toronto Pearson Airport. And I recorded that train ride and I think it went well. But I thought it could have benefited from a bit of a wider angle. Good morning, this is your 1045 westbound train making all station stops to West Harbor. My name is Matt, your customer service ambassador. For Located on accessibility coach 4533, approximately in the middle of the train. On behalf of GO and the operating crew, we thank you for riding with us today. Our first station stop is going to be Exhibition. Exhibition is your next station stop. There's the CN Tower. And just on the right is the Metro Toronto Convention Center. lights will be any different if I'm on one of the lower levels. That's a look over into City Place.
they'd have the same light as she. Alright, let's sit down on that level. This is a look out of the south side of the train car, and that is Fort York. So this ride should be about 34 minutes in total. See if a fare inspector hops on board. As proof of payment does go by the honor system. And that would be the garrison crossing just outside the train. Exhibition Station, the future western terminus of the Ontario Line. I recently did an e-bike ride that ended here. Yeah, you could jump on the harbour front and Bathurst streetcars. Also that's where BMO Field is, home of the Toronto Argonauts and Toronto FC. And the future site of some World Cup action. Of course, this used to be where Exhibition Stadium was located. That's the Gardner Expressway. Just above the GO station there. And that would be the Liberty Village neighborhood. And bad timing. I come over to this side. And the train is rolling through. Final call for the doors. Please stand clear the doors. Doors are closing. That is the last station in the old city of Toronto. As Mimico is on the west side of the Humber. So that's located in what's known as Etobicoke, a former borough that amalgamated into the city in 98. And there is Medieval Times. It's still part of the CNE grounds. And the OVO Athletic Center, where the Toronto Raptors train.
just on the north side of the train here is the Parkdale neighborhood. There you can see Humber Bay off in the distance. regional commuter rail systems in North America. At least prior to the pandemic, the GO system was the fifth busiest overall. Way and a look into High Park. So I think things are a bit more interesting out of this side of the train. Etobicoke. Yeah, where all these condos are now, forming a pretty impressive little skyline. Used to be a somewhat seedy motel strip along the lakeshore. And the Ontario Food Terminal is just out. On that side of the train, I'm scared that soundproof barrier there. There's one guy getting on at least. Or not. Seems to be an awfully long stop. And next up is the last Please trial stop. And that is Long Branch. There's 
my phone charging because of course I forgot to plug it in last night. running parallel to these train tracks to the south of here is Lakeshore Boulevard. And there's a streetcar line, the Queen Streetcar, that runs along it. Although right now it's currently just a replacement bus. take that to get into downtown or the more expensive less frequent route but possibly faster if you time it right would be this go train and we're about to roll through a big rail yard There's a lot of go trains that won't be springing into action until the rush hour. You also see a bunch of them parked just to the east of downtown. We are now just north of Lakeshore, about to roll into the Long Branch Go, which is right on the western border of Toronto. This is the go train I used to take when I was a kid, or the go line. I lived near a Port Credit Go station, which is one stop short of where we're going. And I'd often take it into the city to go to a Jays game, or whatever else I was up to.
in fact, the last time I took the GO train, I think it was about two years ago, I rode my bike down to Long Branch recording a video. And I hopped on the GO train with it. And I took it back to Union Station. Another time I rode down here, I ended up just riding up to Kipling and taking the subway over. They sank clear the doors for us, closing. And I think we're about to go over the Etobicoke Creek. And then we'll officially be in the city of Mississauga. See, these ghost stations are often characterized by their large surface parking lots. Although a lot of stations are being quote unquote modernized and they're building large parking garages. And just to the south of here is Marie Curtis Park. There's the Etobicoke Creek. And I think that's the Toronto Golf Club. That's a private golf course. This is Lakeview Golf Club. And this one is run by the city of Mississauga and it's open to the public. Well, it looks like there's some extensive work going on there. And that was once home to the Canadian Open, believe it or not. And it's also home to the best golf shot I've ever hit. I flubbed one off the tee on a par three. And it went about 20 yards in front. Picked up my nine iron and I hit one that bounced twice and popped into the hole. Not quite a hole in one, but I was pretty happy about it. I think it looks pretty similar out either side of the train here. It's just a bunch of low density, mostly single family detached homes. Well, what's interesting is there's not even a proper sow barrier like this one along a lot of those homes. I think that might have been Cawthra Road. Mentor College. That's a private school. I knew, knew a few kids who went there.
And if all goes to plan, this is the station I'll be boarding to get back to Union Station. The plan is to walk from the next stop, Clarkson, where I get off, to here at Port Credit, where you can see there has been quite a lot of construction around the station. I think from here, the eastbound trains leave every half hour. I've got this canopy kind of cutting off the view here. checked my proof of payment and nobody checked on my up express ride either please stay clear of the door stores are closing There's the Port Credit Arena, and we'll be going over the Credit River. Mississauga Road. It's a rather affluent area, just out the north side of the train here. There's the back side. Is that of the Loblaws where I used to work? actually going to go right by a house where I grew up. It backed onto the rail tracks, although we're not going to see much of it. where I used to walk my dog. And 
I lived in one of these ones here on Sweetwater Crescent. Someone's got a big tree house. There's St. Luke School. Clarkson Go Station. I think these homes here are part of an area that was known as Tonka Village. At least that's what we called it. And this is the backside of Birchwood Park. There's a big hill for tobogganing there. I used to play at these baseball diamonds. And that was a meatpacking facility that later turned into a gym. Clarkson's actually, I think, the second busiest go station outside of Union. The busiest being just to the east of here, or rather west of here in Oakville. But this big parking structure did not exist. I was growing up in this area. And there used to be a Canadian tire in this parking lot. In fact, this was a Canadian Tire parking lot. That's a pretty big step. We have made it from Union Station in downtown Toronto. So here at beautiful Clarkson Go Station in Clarkson, Mississauga. Now I need to tap my Presto card off. And then it'll calculate my fare. mask off, but I think I'm supposed to 
keep it on while I pass through this ticketing office here. It used to be, you used to have to come here and line up and buy a ticket. If there was a lineup or a customer that was taking a long time, you might not be able to buy your ticket in enough time to catch the train. They'd often just have one person working at those desks. That was before the Presto smart card system. Please keep right. No ticket sales in this building. Transit ticket sales is located in the South Station building through the tunnel. I didn't even know there was a South Station building. Total trip 745. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. And they have bicycle parking here. So this is Southbound Road just to the south of here. Although I think I'm going to want to cross over to the other side of the station. And my plan is to fire up a live stream. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you want to see more transit rides like this, I'm sure I can make it happen. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my channel membership and Patreon membership in the description. And I also have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. All right, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.